In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure and look at the molecular geometry for SbCl3. First thing is, let's count the valence electrons up. So Sb, antimony, that has five valence electrons. It's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. Chlorine has seven valence electrons. We have these three chlorine atoms. So we multiply by three, five plus 21, 26 total valence electrons for the SbCl3 Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center of our Lewis structure. That's the antimony, the Sb there. And then we'll put three chlorine atoms around it. Next, we'll place a pair of electrons between atoms. That's going to form our chemical bond. After that, we'll complete the octets on these atoms on the outside, these chlorine atoms. So at this point, we've used 24 valence electrons. We have 26. We're going to put that last pair of electrons there on the antimony in the center of our Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure for SbCl3. If we look at this, each chlorine atom has an octet. And then the Sb, the antimony in the center, that has eight valence electrons, an octet as well. If we wanted to look at the molecular geometry, let's visualize this. The purple, that's the central Sb, and then we're going to put the three chlorines around it. One, two, they're spreading out to be as far away as they can from each other. Three, we get this trigonal planar structure, but remember that lone pair we had there. We need to put that in. We put our lone pair in, and that forces all these atoms here down, these chlorine atoms down, and that gives us what we call a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. The bond angles here, it says 109.5. That's kind of an ideal bond angle. For this structure, this lone pair is going to push the chlorines down. We would expect it to be about 97 degrees for this Lewis structure. If you wanted to look at the electron geometry, you'd have to count all four things that are attached, one, two, three, four. So you'd have a tetrahedral electron geometry. Back to our Lewis structure. We could also use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry for SbCl3. A is the central atom. X, that's the number of atoms bonded. We have one, two, three. And then E, that's the number of lone pairs. We have the one lone pair here. So we have AX3E1. If you look that up, you would get the trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry, just like we saw before. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure and molecular geometry for SbCl3. Thanks for watching.